on a bus carrying 60 people, 30% are getting off at the next stop. How many people will that be? So what I'm being asked to do here is to determine what is 30% of 60 people. Because your percent is always going to be applied to the total, and the total is 60 people. So I need to know 30% of 60 people. Well, one little trick with uh, mathematics and language is that of can be replaced with multiplication. So this is 30% times 60. Now, if you have a calculator that um, allows you to type in percentages, you could literally just type in 30 and then a percent sign, multiply that by 60, and you get your answer. The answer is going to be A, 18. But if you need to do this from scratch or by hand, then the way to start off is to take our, perc take our percentage here and convert this into a decimal. And that happens by putting it over 100. Now, when you put something in a fraction over 100, what you're doing is you're dividing it by 100. And I think you've seen this in other videos where I've taken a value, let's say I had a value like 30.0, and let's say I multiplied by 100. What happens there is you move your decimal over two places. You move it over a place for every zero that you have. So this would move the decimal over to here. So that would be equals to 3,000. 30 times 100 would be 3,000. If I were to divide by 100, on the other hand, you just do things in reverse. So 30.0 divided by 100, which is the same as what I've written here. 30 over 100 is the same as 30 divided by 100. I'm now going to move my decimal over one, two places, because you move it over once for every zero. So this leaves the decimal here, and it gives me 0 0.30, or you could say 0 0.300, and so on. It doesn't really make any difference. You could simply say 0 0.3. So this goes back into our equation. This is 0 0.3 times 60. And now we can finish this off. If you type this into your calculator, or let's stick with doing it by hand. 0 0.3 times 60. I'm going to do 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 6 is 18. And then when I do my next one, 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. This gives me 180. However, if you have any decimals that show up in your original terms, you need to introduce them. For example, I have one decimal place here, and so I need to bring one decimal place into my answer. So the answer is 18, which corresponds to what I had here. So 18 people out of the 16, out of the 60 is the same as 30% of the 60.